What's up again? I'm doing video number two right after doing video number one. I've already learned some things. I forgot to talk about some topics that I was going to talk about. I reviewed the first video and realized that I'm constantly itching my head and my face in it and that I should stop it. And I noticed that it's weird to be sitting in front of my computer but not using it. <clears throat> but anyways, I got another stack of CDs. I put in this CD, um, which I featured in my last one. It rules. I forgot how good this is. Call of the Night Wolves by Vargsang. Check this out. I also noticed that in the last one, I forgot to even say what I was holding up a couple times. So, sorry about that, but you're going to deal with it. Uh, let's get into the stack. This I bought really not too long ago, earlier in this year. Um, Abhorrence. Uh, this is called Completely Vulgar. So this was a Finnish death metal band that did some 7 inches in the mid 90's. Uh, eventually I think they turned into Amorphous. Uh, but anyway, this stuff is really cool, old school death metal. Uh, just gnarly stuff. The production on it is top notch. Um, and Sfart Records is this cool label that's been reissuing a lot of uh, old school death metal stuff. And doing a really cool job of it. Check out this booklet. So this has a 7 inch demo, live stuff, rehearsals, you know, the drill. Um, but they've got a bunch of cool flyers and stuff from the old days. You can see they played with Dark Throne, Cadaver, and Abhorrence back in the day. I think that's kind of cool. So it's got all these old flyers. It's got like a little uh, memorial bio kind of thing going on. Yeah, so check out some Sfart Record stuff. Um, they do a really good job of uh, lovingly reissuing some disgusting death metal stuff. Um, so the next one we're going to get into is Abigor. These aren't in chronological order, but god damn I have a lot of Abigor. <laughs> I should probably have grabbed more CDs, but uh, hell, let's just talk about some Abigor CDs. Here's my Abigor collection. <laughs> this is Noctiman. Um, probably I think their most popular record. Uh, it's amazing. And I do have the original Napalm issue of it. I bought this probably in 98 or so. Um, I, I was a fan of these guys from the start. All their stuff back then was amazing. I love, the, I love it when band photos have this ornate frame around them, like they're some kind of royalty. Uh, but yeah, this is a melodic band. Great riffs. Everything about this band is so good. Uh, but I prefer, this is my favorite album by them, Opus 4. Um, check it out. <laughs> it's a really good record. Uh, so I've also got the Napalm version of that. Uh, Supreme Immortal Art came out, I think, right after Opus 4 did. And I've heard some people say that this is their favorite uh, Avagor record. Kind of tough to open, but uh, and it's pretty good. The production on it is really, really strange. Um, I think they were trying to move into some more symphonic sort of elements with this album, and I just thought the instrumentation on it sounded kind of odd. Um, but the writing on it and the style is exactly what you would love about Habagor already. Um, trying to go kind of linear here, but uh, I think the next one that came out after Supreme Mortal Art was Channeling the Quintessence of Satan, which I thought was another fine album. It kind of moved away from the symphonic stuff, which they were doing pretty good at. Uh, this is just a really harsh, nasty record. Uh, and then a couple of years ago, they re-recorded it entirely. And I don't really know what the point of that was, but uh, I think the only way to get the redone version of it is like by buying a triple CD 
compilation thing and anymore these days if it doesn't fit in a jewel case in my shelves I don't really want it like uh, I discovered this band not too long ago called Utigite and I really like their album called Vast Chains but all Utigite records come in a DVD case <laughs> I'm just not going to do that uh, so moving on uh, kind of the next one that came out was Satanized now most people look over this record because uh, it's really weird I think they were kind of embracing the whole late 90s um, end of times kind of ideal that was going on the Y2K madness so there's a lot of more electronic uh, element going on in this. It's pretty interesting. Um, the next one I've got here is Orc Loot, The Retaliation. So this is actually, I think, came out before Knocked Him in 95. Um, <laughs> I love looking at these old CDs. The design on them is kind of crappy but charming. This one is really cool. This is actually an EP with 11 songs on it. The atmosphere on it is really cool. I've never heard anything like that. And I think for that one, for that, it just really stands out in their discography for me. I like that it's an EP. It kind of has like a more trollish and pagan vibe to it. It's not quite so dense and the interludes in between the songs are really, really cool. Um, this is a collection of demos, uh, the early stuff. And I never went too crazy for their demos. They sound exactly like you would think they would. They're just nasty and raw. Uh, this version goes for a pretty penny though, as far as I can see. It's pretty limited. I think there were only 666 of these uh, that ever came out. But I keep forgetting to say the titles of these things. This is Orgio Regium. Uh, this is Apocalypse. One of the coolest album covers you'll ever see. But this also was an EP and therefore kind of a stepping aside in style for them. Uh, this is just total balls out war metal. Uh, but it kind of has like a vampiric sort of tinge to it. It's really cool. Uh, there's six songs on it. It clocks in at like 25 minutes. So it's not like a shitty little tiny EP. It's really a must have on Napalm Records and then this is also on Napalm Records and this features a demo version of a song which one is it I can't get my shit together when I'm in front of the camera but uh, I'm pretty sure there's a demo version of one of these songs on here there's a Slayer cover there's a Creator cover and then there's a couple of demo versions and then there's Fur Was Stung which is a demo version, or like a rehearsal version, of a song on Verwustung, which brings us to Verwustung. So this is kind of cool, I don't know. It's pretty easy to find cheap, uh, but this one, Verwustung, is the original uh, Napalm release. It, uh, I think this is their first one. And it came out before Noctiman. It's pretty logical coming before Noctiman. Um, shows the early stages of their style. Uh, yeah. And then that brings me to the last one that I bought. Um, Fractal Possession. Really weird record. I almost, sometimes I kind of wish they would have come back from being broken up as something else um, but whatever that's not neither here nor there they had a different drummer on this and while the drummer is really good on this record he's really speedy he played in Corova Kill which was another great band I just kind of felt like this material is trying to go a little too fast trying to be breakneck speed at all times and I just kind of find this record and their new, all their newer stuff to be just a little too dense for me, a little too not dense in like a duh kind of way, but just too compact and kind of 
impenetrable to to really listen to. It's interesting, and I'm sure in 10, 15 years it'll click with me, and I'll love it. Um, they did a good record a couple years ago called Les Moit Lucifer, which I didn't get yet. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, the new era of stuff, by the way, I don't, if you don't know, they broke up in like 2001 or two, came back around 2006 or eight and did this one. So that's why I'm talking about like, there's kind of an era one and an era two of Abigor. Uh, next, we've got Ablaze My Sorrows, uh, If Emotions Still Burn. Um, this is a great, great band. I remember reading about this record in a relapse catalog in 97 or so. And back then when I wasn't even on the internet, all we had to rely upon was like Metal Maniacs, which you would pick up from the grocery store, maybe some pit magazines. And uh, so you relied a lot upon the descriptions of albums and I hadn't heard about this, I didn't know anything about this other than the description that was in the Relapse catalog, and it just said it was melodic, Swedish, black metal, I don't know, something about it just made it sound really appealing to me, so um, it took me a long time to getting around to actually ordering it back then because I didn't have a credit card. Uh, I was like 18 years old in 97, but uh, that doesn't really tell you anything about this album. It's super melodic, uh, great songwriting. I really like that there's a lot of variety to the songs on here, but uh, they did three demos before this album came out, and uh, I think they all feature the songs that are on here, and one of the demos in particular stuck out with me as having way better vocals on it than this does. I kind of wish they had like the, this album had had the demos from, or the vocals from that demo on this would have been great but this, this doesn't diminish the greatness of this album anyway um, they just played a reunion show in Sweden that a friend of mine went to uh, about a month ago or so and apparently they're writing new stuff uh, getting ready to put out a new record any day now and it, it might be good I'm not sure uh, what I'll think of it, but they put out two other records after this, and they didn't even come close to being as good as this, in my opinion. Uh, this is the next one that came out after it, called The Plague. And, uh, as you can see, it has Bruce Willis on fire on the cover. Kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I don't really remember what this is like. It's been a long-ass time since I listened to it. Um, I just remember it being a little more kind of chunky, tough guy-ish kind of stuff. Uh, a departure from the If Emotions Still Burn album that came out before it. Well, uh, that gets me through this stack of CDs. Uh, join me again. I don't know when I'll be able to do this next, but uh, the first video is going to take me about three hours to upload. So enjoy the HD quality. 